And tonight we are searching for answers after a 24 year old North Carolina man died while in the Albemarle District Jail. He was there only a few days and died Friday night. The Pasquotank County Sheriff's Office says at this time no foul play is suspected, but that does conflict with the incident report that News 3 obtained. It reads that there is a suspicious death investigation underway. News 3 reporter Angela Bohan has more. It's been one week since Kimberly Siegel spoke to her son Adam. On that day, he was taken here to the Albemarle District Jail. She had no idea it would be the last time that she would see him. He gave me a kiss and a hug and he told me, you know, that he appreciated me and that he loved me. And that was the last time I saw or heard from him. William Adam Siegel was booked in Albemarle District Jail for not appearing in court for traffic offenses. But two days later, he died. I told him, I said, this is Kimberly Siegel. This is William's mom. Um, can you please tell me what happened? Is he OK? And all he said was, no, ma'am, I'm afraid not. Your son is passed. 24 years old and so youthful, yet Adam had a son of his own, and his mom says he worked hard to support his family. She described how he fought and overcame a drug addiction. In fact, she said he took a prescription medication daily to help with that battle. Official reports show that Siegel was found unconscious and that there was some type of drug or drugs in his system. His mother does not know if he was given access to his prescription medication in jail or if it had anything to do with his death. Adam also persevered being an amputee. He is, was a walking testimonial. I mean, he was, he was showing everybody that Adam can, I can do this. A spokesperson for the Albemarle Jail says security rounds are completed twice an hour and they do have surveillance video, but we can't have access to that because of the ongoing investigation. Many questions remain. I know that I did not get any information from the people that I should have got information from. I am the mother of the deceased and he should have called me. I don't care what was in front of him. A representative for the sheriff's office says they don't expect to see a copy of the autopsy report for three to six months, but we have submitted a separate request to the medical examiner's office. Meantime, Siegel says she will be hiring a lawyer. Of course, we'll keep you updated on any developments. In Elizabeth City, Angela Bohan, News 3. And we have just learned some of Siegel's family and friends are planning to gather outside the Albemarle District Jail tonight at 6 o'clock. Of course, we will keep you updated as we learn more details.